Hello everybody, good to see you all. And today I'm going to tell you about this wonderful new Mongolian shadowing account. But before that, I wanted to announce some good news. And the good news is that because we make a lot of armor for all different formats, from stage, theater, movie armor, to LARP, to ACA, WMA, and HMB fights. So we decided to split up the whole line of our armor onto two parts, and it's going to be Feather armor, which is very light, visual, things oriented uh, armor for uh, movies, theaters, stage armor, LARP armor when you only need just a basic level of protection. And the tank armor, tank helmets line, which is supposed to be used for heavy fighting combats like SCA, HMB, WMA and so on. So this is the example of our tank helmet which is basically SCA oriented, but we made it the way so it can be used for all types of heavy fighting formats from SCA to WMA to HMB. And it happens a lot with arm streets that we improve and improve and improve some particular model all the time. And after a couple of years, we just see and it's totally different thing. And we call those changes generation. So this is the next generation of our Shaduina Mongolian helmet, which is basically 13th, 14th century, very popular uh, helmet. And I will just go through the list of changes from our old generation to our new generation. And I will explain everything about this helmet, talking about those changes. So let's start from the inside. And inside, you can see this uh, historically accurate historical padding, which is size adjustable. So with this lacing on the top, you can change the level of your of the eye slit of the helmet to adjust the helmet for your particular head. And inside this cotton historical uh, padding, there is closed cell form, which is basically the SCA standard form, which is required to be used as the inner protection for helmets by SCA Marshall's book. So this is both SCA legal, historically type, padding which can be used for any 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 format and we tested a lot of different patterns to find out some good balance between how soft it is and at the same le level how how the thickness of the padding and its uh, you know shock absorption properties and also from the inside you can see this AC bar grill which protects your face and uh, there is a minimum requirement for the distance between those uh, uh, between bars in this bar grill, and our helmet uh, uh, meets all SCA requirements. And at the same time, uh, when you have this helmet on, it gives you some excellent visibility, and you can see not actually very clear, but you can see a lot through your oven tail, which helps you to follow your opponents. You know legs moves and everything and it makes you know your life much easier in comparison when you only have your eyes leads to see to see your opponent and on the back we have this also this is a SCA idea of neck protection so you technically almost can see that when you have your this helmet on it's uh, black but from the inside it's the extra plate which protects your neck from the back and it's very important if you're getting uh, some hot blow from the back. Uh, one more thing I have to mention is this top spike, because originally this is supposed to be much taller and much sharper uh, top spike like Mongols originally had, but for the sake of uh, safety we just reduced the height of this dome thing to the level when it's SCA legal and it can go to any ice leads or something, so it's totally uh, safe. And at the same time, it gives some sort of historical look, which is 
this helmet supposed to have. Uh, one more thing actually on the back from the outside is that we have this uh, rib and this nice, you know, uh, elements just in order to make the back part of the helmet, you know, look complete and more nice. Uh, and the last thing I wanted to mention about this helmet are these cheek plates, which are originally Mongolian helmets didn't have any hidden protection under the oven tail. And the most common hit, the most common blow was the side blow with a saber or sword. So these cheek plates were kind of, you know, last chance protection for, for, your, for your necks, for this part of your head. And here, because we have these uh, protective plates under the oven tail, these cheek plates are not necessary. So there is a lacing and you can unlace them and you can get rid of them if you don't want them. Or you can switch the position which might have some sense if you want to have, you know, it's like it depends on your, on your personal preferences and where you want them and where you feel them, right? So it's totally up to you to change the position of those cheek plates on your helmet. This, this helmet comes in a number on all, all, all you know, varieties of gauges from 16 uh, gauge, which is 1.5 millimeters, which is a minimum requirement for SA legal helmets, to 14 uh, gauge, which is actually this helmet is 14 gauge, and to 2.5, which is almost 11 gauge thickness which is insane and supposed to be used for H and B and very heavy formats. Or if it, you just want to be like super protected and don't mind to have extra, you know, several extra kilograms on your head, then you can go with you know, 2.5 millimeters helmet or just a 2.5 millimeters top, which is actually uh, makes sense. So this helmet, it looks historically accurate it has all hidden protection for the ACA and all types of heavy fighting. And it's a perfect combat helmet. One more thing to mention. We totally redesigned the bar grill and now, as you can see, there is more room for your face, more room for your nose. And it's, when you look at the helmet from the front, it's almost, you, know, you don't see like, very big difference, but it is, is, there is a big difference for you, especially if you have like a big nose and you want some extra room uh, in front of your face. So we adjusted, we redesigned this, this part to make it more human face shaped. It's probably the, you have the similar level uh, of uh, similar room for your face when you wear some bassinet helmet or something. So it totally makes sense and sometimes customers ask for that. So we just decided we can go with this as our standard option. So here it is. Mm. You know everything about this helmet now and you can make your conscious choice about what armor you need, what armor you want to buy next, what character you want to build next. Thank you very much. Mm.